Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure Function Apps, today we are going to learn about this project structure of Azure Function App project. In the previous video, we learned how we can deploy Azure Function Apps using VS Code. I have also created a playlist on Azure Keyword, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. To learn about the folder structure of Azure Function Apps, let's go to VS Code. So here we have this VS Code folder, bin folder, obj folder and other folders. Let's learn about each of them one by one. So this VS Code folder contains configuration files that are specific to Visual Studio Code. Uh, this It's used to configure settings for our development environment. Uh, like in this folder we have this extensions.json file sorry this file uh, this file contains related extensions like we are using the c-sharp extension and we are using this azure functions extension uh, with our pro for our project then we have this launch.json uh, file so this launch.json file contains uh, some uh, if we are using debugging info feature in our visual studio code we can configure how our functions will be launched and then we have the settings.json file. Similarly, this file contains the published path of our Azure Function Apps, the language we are using to develop the Function App, or we are using to write the Function App. Then we have the, uh, the project runtime, like it's for for our project current Function App, and uh, similarly other functions like uh, uh, deploy task and others. Then we have task.json. This task.json function contains a custom build or deploy Azure Function App settings. We have this type it's process. We have this. It's a curly function. Then similarly label. So these are some settings. And those we can uh, we can change to custom build our function app. Now coming to our host.json function. So uh, this function is a global configuration function for our function Azure function app. It's like if we have multiple Azure function apps with, in this project. Like my, my, then, uh, like uh, one is for encryption and and another is for decryption purpose. Then uh, those settings that are uh, in this uh, host.json file will be applied to both the function apps. Like we have this uh, is enabled app application insights and other uh, matrices. Those will be applied to both the Azure function apps. Uh, similarly, we have this local settings.json file. So this uh, local settings.json file contains settings related to our local development environment, like are we going to use the Azure Web Storage? Are we using the function uh, runtime environment? Is encrypted values or something like that? So we should not place sensitive information in this local settings.json file. Then we have the CS project file. It contains references to NuGet package and uh, reference that we are going to use in our project. Like we are using Azure.identity in our project. And then similarly, we are using Azure.security.keyword. We are using Microsoft.net.sdk.functions similarly. Uh, these uh, settings are placed here in this .cs project file and uh, we have this function code file where we read the actual code of our function like what the function is going to do it, it, it can be an HTTP trigger or it can be some other function app so the actual code is placed in this .cs file it depends upon the programming language that we are using for we are using this C sharp language here to write our function apps if we, we can use like other languages then the extension of this file will be similarly depending upon that function, that language. 